Hello, so I wanted to do a quick video detailing the proper strategy for deal or no deal. Because deal or no deal is similar to poker, which is something at risk oriented we're very focused on. Because what you have here are a list of unknowns. One case will have a million dollars in it and the others will have descending values from that. So what's important to realize is that it doesn't matter which case you pick to start with because you don't know what's in it. Time to hide the prizes for this round. But what matters is when Here we go. Accept. Round one, pick the six free cases. So again, it doesn't matter which cases you pick. All that matters is this little table that I've built over here. This is the total equity you have. By simply playing the game, you've earned 131,000. So here we lost a 5,000 and a 50,000, a 300,000, $50, $400,000, and $500. Now let's enter these entire charts just by coming over here and deleting them. You'll notice the equity updates based on what we've lost, what, what, what we've seen. So we made a little bit of money. Our banker's offer should go up. Now, we want to take the banker's offer when it's higher than this number here. Here it's 58000 so that's no deal. Now, how do we get this equity number? It's simple. We took an Excel spreadsheet and we're taking an average of all the values that are over here. Okay? So, let's pick five more cases. We lost the 750. 750,000. A million. 400. 300. And now our equity has dropped from about 131 to 60,000. There's nothing we can do about that. The banker's offer is the only choice that we actually have in the matter. Here he's offering uh, $40,000 less than our equity. If we were to take this, we'd actually be costing ourselves $41,000. So we're going to choose no deal. Two hundred twenty-five thousand, seventy-five thousand. And ten dollars. Here, our equity has gone up to seventy-three thousand. So this offer should be higher than the previous, which it is. If we were to take this, we'd be losing thirty thousand, which is still very significant. So we're not going to take that deal either. We're gonna, just going to continue to draw cases and update our spreadsheet. <coughs> our equity's dropped to twenty-five thousand. He's offering 14000 which is $10,000 less than our equity, so we're going to decline the deal. Our equity is at 33 We're offered twenty one. It's a $10,000 loss, $12,000 loss. Again, it's a no deal. Our equity is up to 40000 It'll probably offer around thirty, And there it is. So again, it's less. So we're not going to take the deal. $100. Maybe it'll offer around forty. Again, it's less. So we're not going to take the deal. Continuing to just pick random cases. Now he's offering 61000 of 66000 what that gives us an, is an interesting choice. If we were playing for real money, I'm going to decline this for now, but if we were playing for real money, that might be actually a good thing to take because what we're doing is we're only costing ourselves $5,000 and we're going to make $61,000 guaranteed. So the question is, do you want to risk $61,000 to win $5,000 more? For a lot of people, the answer would be no. This goes back to utility theory, which is a decision theory problem. And at some point, the equity is going to be close enough where you are willing to take a loss. Because here, you may win 200 or you may win $75 or $1. But since this is fake money, we're going to go strictly for equity value. When the equity value is higher than $100,000, we will take the deal. Here, it's $4,000 less. In a real-world situ situation, I would absolutely take this deal. Unfortunately... He did not offer us a value that was higher than $100,000. Sometimes he does, and we take the deal. But in this case, it doesn't matter which case you choose.
and here we've chosen the correct case, we've won $200,000. And that is how you play Deal or No Deal.